All right, guys. Um, this is probably one of the shorter sections of the video. I might actually combine this one with the air oil separator. I haven't decided yet. Uh, it just depends on how complicated the air oil separator gets. This would be a Go Fast Bits hybrid blow off valve. Um, very nice uh, piece, very high quality. Uh, I really like how these are made. They, uh, for some reason, they do this really complicated packing scheme. I don't know if you can see that. This side up, you know, they want you to do it all this fancy way, and then you grab your tab and pull. It kind of feels like you're unwrapping a house or something. It's a little ridiculous. So I got a sticker on top. We'll go fast bits decal. Can't beat that. Here's some basic installation, tuning instructions, and. Uh, these actually cut right to the chase. I kind of like these. There's not a lot of left and right. They're, they they reassure you. They tell you how to do it. They say what to do step by step. Pretty simple. Hard to beat. Now, for the actual blow off valve. So here she is. This would be blow off valve. Now it's got two sections to it. You can rotate, cut, come back. Okay. I messed up there. My apologies. All right, so it's got two adjustments to it. The first one is the venting bias. And if you see right here, I'm rotating this piece right here. This doesn't rotate very freely. So right now, I've rotated it entirely counterclockwise. And so now, when this opens, it will dump completely to app mode. Or you can rotate it clockwise all the way right there. Now it's venting completely to recirculation. This is your recirculation. This is your Atmo nozzle. Atmo, ooh, come back little nozzle. For Atmo, I mean atmosphere, so it just screws on right there. A little trumpet, vents to atmosphere. They've also included an Allen here for your spring adjustment in the top. They include good instructions on that. And a gasket to go against your intercooler. So, all in all, pretty well self-contained. Uh, a good setup. All right, guys. Um, gonna do the finale here for the Go Fast Bits Hybrid BOV. As you can see, the install pretty clean, pretty simple. Your trumpet faces back this way towards the brake booster. So, and if you can see, just slightly there, already picking up a little bit of oil. And this is the purpose for that air oil separator that we're gonna cover in a different video. But I wanted to show you how right away, this is a brand new piece, we're already getting a tiny bit of oil. So the install is ultra simple. You undo a bolt, you undo a bolt, so you've got a bolt here, bolt here, pull this vacuum line, which is just, you wiggle it around and you pull it off, take a pair of channel locks or a pair of pliers, grab this clamp, and you can slide that all the way back, and with the other hand, you can slide the blow off valve right off. So here's the stock unit, and you can see if it will sit right there. This uh, hybrid Go Fast Bits is really barely taller, uh, not nearly as big around. Honestly, it's a, it's a much better package unit. If you also see with the stock unit, it's plastic. The entire unit is plastic. So even if you only wanted to replace this just simply, simply for the sound, you know, it. Some people want to do it for that. It's worth it just to get rid of a plastic component that they offer a nice metal component replacement for. Adjustment's simple. This right here is just an Allen head. You turn it left, it stays open longer. You turn it right, it stays open shorter. I've actually got it set fairly low. It's a pretty quick response. Um, if you have it set too high, your lab will stall out. And then you see here, you've got your adjustment for how much you recirculate versus how much you vent. And I've got it set in at about 60% uh, recirculated, 40% vent. Uh, if you go any higher than that, you'll really backfire after you come out of your accelerating gear and you shift up to your cruising gear, uh, you'll get a backfire too. And that, that's going to be pretty common with all Subarus. You're going to get a backfire too. It's just showing that you're running rich for a second. And if you don't like that backfire, just continue rotating this way to go more with your recirculation. And that's really all there is to it. You can tune it while the car is running. I did my entire tune. You can hear the, the car ticking away. I did my entire tune while the car was running. I bopped the throttle a couple times. It wanted to stall out, so I turned this to the right. And then we went driving down the road. 
and we kept adjusting till we stopped backfiring and that's all you got to do so there you have it guys thanks a lot